Hi there. Today we're going to talk about a very important command in Mathematica, the map command, and we're going to talk about how to create our own functions. All right, so we're going to start first to talk about the map command. So um, the way I like to think about the map command is that in other programming languages, often you'll use a for loop to repeat and do things uh, many times. In Mathematica, often you can just avoid for loops completely. And you can use the map command, and there'll be a couple of other commands too that can just help avoid using loops in general. Um, so how does the map command work? The map command takes in two inputs, a function and a list, and what map does is it applies the function to every single entry of the list. And the answer, the result, the output, is a new list with those um, evaluations. So let's do a quick example. Let's say we wanted to know what sine of x is for multiples of pi over 6. Now, we already learned how we could do that using a table command, right? A table command would look like table. We want to know what sine of i is, where i goes from 0 to 2 pi in multiples of pi over 6. And that would give us the values for sine of, sine of x. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about using map to do the same thing. And at first it feels like it's a little bit more complicated, but what we're, what we're really doing is we're realizing that a function can apply to everything in a list. And this is going to be a very powerful tool that we'll use over and over again. So let's first create the list of values of, uh, of the inputs we want for the sine function. So we'll use the range command starting from 0 up to 2 pi integral, uh, with steps of pi over 6, so 0, pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, etc. And then what we're going to do is use this map command. And so the first input is the function that we want to apply to every element of this list. And the second is that list. So when we hit map of sine of pi list, that gives us exactly the same answer as if we had done it uh, using the table command. So if we have a generic list, ABC, and we want to apply the function f to, a, B, to each of ABC, we can use the map command and we get f of a, f of b, and f of c. Um, since this is used everywhere, there's a shorthand for it. There's a, uh, this slash at. Um, what slash at does is it applies map without using uh, these brackets. So sine slash at pi list gives the exact same answer as before, or f slash at abc also works. Um, if at the beginning here, when you're using map, just type it out, use the, use the longhand version of it. Uh, you don't have to use slash at, but you should you should look, when you, when you look online for code that people have used Mathematica, you'll see slash out everywhere, so it's important to understand what that means. Uh, let's do a couple of examples. So let's try to create this triangle list uh, using the map command. So let's look at this. What do we see in this, in this list? Well, what we see is that we have a, um, uh, a list of things, each of which looks like a list from one up to some number. So let's first come up with the list of the numbers 1 up to 10, since this goes from 1 up to 10. So if we use range of 10, that's going to be our list of numbers from 1 up to 10. That represents each of these rows of this list, each of these entries of this larger list. And now what we want to do is we want to apply a function to each of these inputs. And the function that we want to apply to it is when we see a 1, we want to get the list 1. 
When we see the list 2, we get that we want to get the list 1, 2. When we see the 3, we get 1, 2, 3. So really what we're doing is we're applying the range function to each of these inputs. So if we do map, if we're going to map the range function onto this list, then that's going to give us exactly what we wanted. Uh, and we can check to make sure. Let's put in some extra spaces. Let's put, push enter here instead of shift enter, and we can see that this is indeed in the correct format. All right, let's now look at this example. What is the difference between, oh, I, I didn't read the rules directly. It says also define this list as the variable triangle. We'll see triangle pop up a couple, a couple of times in this tutorial, so let's make sure it's defined correctly. Okay, so example 522. What is the difference between length at triangle and length slash at triangle? Well, length at triangle is going to say, well, how many entries are there in the list triangle? Now, triangle is a list and it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 things. So if we did length at triangle, that's the same thing of length bracket triangle end bracket. That's going to give us 10 things in that list. On the other hand, if we did length slash at triangle, think for a second, what's that going to do? It's going to apply the function length to each of the elements in that list. So it's going to ask us what's the length of this list, and what's the length of this list, and what's the length of this list. So that's going to give us 1, 2, 3, up to 10. All right, and then let's do one more example. Use a map command to find the sum of the entries in the li each list of triangle. So triangle is full of lists, and we'd like to know how, how what's the sum of everything in this first list, of everything in the second list, of everything in the third list, etc. So what that means is we need to use the map command and we need to apply the function total to this list triangle. And so when we do that, hey, we get the triangular numbers. I'm going to pause right here and because the next section is uh, needs your full attention. All right.